Hiya folks, I'm Grim, and welcome to Grim Grooves, a channel where I react to, and review, music of all kinds. Today we'll be checking out another song from Limbus Company. This is the La Mancha Carnival theme. Uh, I've been enjoying the Canto 7 music so much that I figured, why not let's do another one, because these have been amazing. Every single one, all the boss themes, uh, Millie's theme yesterday, or the song from Millie, like, they're just absolutely killing it with this, all the music here, and... Yeah, Limbus Company music in general is always fantastic. All Project Moon Gaze music. <laughs> but anyways, if you've got anything else you'd like me to check out, throw it down in the comments. And while you're down there, make sure you hit the like button and subscribe, because it helps the channel so much, and I'm endlessly appreciative of anyone who supports me. And I'd also like to thank my Patreon supporters, because without their support, I wouldn't be able to continue doing this either, so thank you. And without further ado, let's check out the La Mancha Carnival theme. This is so unique. Like, I did not expect this. I mean, going in, I knew it might have some kind of carnival vibe to it, but I wasn't expecting, like, a Latin carnival theme. Like, this music in the background is really interesting and really, like, high energy, very festive, very happy kind of thing. Very different from what I was expecting from this. And the lyrics here, the or the, I don't know the lyrics. I don't speak, uh, I believe, Korean. Uh, I guess there's lyrics there. Sorry, I didn't put that on at the beginning. But regardless, this is so cool to see. Like, and the vocalist is doing a fantastic job, like, despite the fact that I can't really understand the lyrics, because, yeah, I'm actually going to go back 10 seconds, get a little bit more. Actually, you know what? <clears throat> just because I want to get the lyrics, I'm actually going to go back to the beginning. We can get them all, because this is, it's interesting enough already, <laughs> starting with the, like, the whistles and stuff like that. It's so interesting. really interesting it's like humans and demons are all partying together and having a great time in this carnival and then some kind of crazy things happen you have a boss battle and all not many boss battles i'm guessing i don't know it's really interesting and such a different theme such a different song than what i could have possibly expected from this game like they've already been very diverse and very interesting so far i mean the last like the first song of this canto starting with uh like swing music that was not what i would expect at all but this too, like again, very interesting. Like Latin beat, the horns are fantastic. The percussion's really like high energy, like joyful drums, as the song says. Like so cool to see, and so again, so unique, even compared to all the other um, songs I've heard from Project Moon at this point in Studio EIM. Like stunning, stunning, and like so interesting. <laughs> so interesting like you have the whistles which like it i feel like it's only in like latin american music or like latin music that you hear the kind of like <clears throat> um that kind of whistles along with the uh, music like it's it's a really interesting style of melody that, that it's always 
uh yeah it's always fascinating when they do this uh, and the percussion is very high energy very high energy drums and we got like a i think a xylophone coming in here a little bit too like it's such an interesting little breakdown here aside from the main melodies which again heavy horns for those different sections and like still heavy percussion all this type of stuff like it's so unique like I, i'm just blown away by how interesting this is <laughs> So now I get the feeling that this is a carnival that no one asked to go to. It's like forced upon them and they're forced to dance and sing and have a good time even though they're like being forced to do it and they can't stop and they're doing it so much that they're like losing themselves and their bodies are breaking down and stuff like that. It's super interesting and definitely not what I was expecting. And I love that uh, as the vocalist came in for this second kind of verse, uh, the, this, the voice started to get a bit distorted like started to change a little bit there was a bit of a modification on the vocals there and it like a little bit canned or something like that and it pushed forward now we have us background vocalists who are like the, having a conversation with the main vocalist who's just like very happy very carefree and now it's getting very dark and just keeps getting darker and it's like again people are trapped in this hell of this carnival forced to dance and party forever or something like that like but they have to be happy like very interesting I want to go back and get that a little bit more again because that the vocalist is so good here like in this type of section here it shows the range of them like being able to sustain those notes and it's just such a clear and crisp of vocal like vocals for this part here I mean through the whole thing like just vocals are so good <laughs> This builds into another one of the songs I've heard before because it seemed like it was shifting up in styles a little bit near the end but that was excellent like again so different than I could have ever expected like of course I was expecting some kind of carnival because it's called La Mancha Carnival but I'm guessing it's in reference to the man of La Mancha or something like that because there's a lot of literary references I'm assuming but anyways it's super interesting like just such an interesting style such an interesting song in general the lyrics were fantastic the back and forth between the like the main vocalist and the people who are stuck in this carnival super fascinating the way that the song started off very happy very exuberant incredibly upbeat and then you get to the second verse now everything is darker you see what's actually happening behind the curtain of this happy carnival 
and things are dark things are messed up things are crazy <clears throat> things are starting to get distorted and darker and like evil like the evil within is starting to show and then you get near the end and it's like don't disregard all that happy or all that darkness everyone's happy everyone's having a great time everyone's having a great time at la mancha like <laughs> it's so interesting like such such different dichotomies throughout this entire song and it keeps shifting styles and the melodies were throughout the whole thing very upbeat very happy melodies like very energetic throughout the whole thing and the lyrics near the end just got so soulful and so meaningful uh just singing about like the happiness of this place that they're trapped in it's like don't think about the bad things just think about how happy you are at this carnival like it was so fantastically well done that was awesome <laughs> I just always blown away by how great uh, Studio EIM and Project Moon's musics are. Music are. It's, it's so cool to see. But anyways, thanks for hanging out, watching my reaction. If you liked it, make sure you hit the like button and subscribe. Until next time, later days, folks.